It's the NFL on EA Sports, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Detroit Lions, next on Madden NFL 23. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the Detroit Lions. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. about ready to get us going and we are underway from Ford Field and here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 so here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive they'll be led out by the seventh year man out of Cal the top pick back in 2016 Jared Goff and at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. They'll start on the ground with Swift, and he'll work this forward for about three and second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. A play fake for Swift, now gone. He's airing it out for Williams. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. On third down, here comes Swift. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. It's gone. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. The first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name. But I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that will draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Back to the running game with Swift. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to give them to a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here we go on four. Golf. I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. 
And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. And that could be a major momentum swing here early. Because the defense stopped them. How great is that? They go for it on the first drive of the game. They're the ones trying to establish something, trying to assert a little dominance. And guess what? You turn it back on them and give the ball to your own offense. I agree with you. It could change momentum in a big way. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 46. Off play action. Allen. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. Only a yard on the pickup, and now they've got a third down and eight. And in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing is Allen on third. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Everything that happened before that fumble was great. Good vision, navigated the open field, got good chunk yardage. At that point, if you see a defender coming up, just step out of bounds. Don't risk all you picked up before the end to just try and get an extra yard or two. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. 15 yards for the Lions there and a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. On first and ten, Goff. His throw incomplete. Offensively, might be thinking, what's going on here? One for their first seven throwing the football. So maybe they're thinking about rethinking their strategy a little bit right now with the way that they're throwing it around, not having that success. Might have to lean on the running game for a little while and see if they can get it back and forth. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Goff now looks to throw. He's got a man complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A big play there for Detroit. And even 40 yards. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. Chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Swift. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. DeAndre Swift, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Lions post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL. A complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. So the drive there took six plays. And a nine-yard run on the end of it. now 
as they line up and kick this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They had to fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Play action, Allen. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards that time for number 14. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here's Allen on first and 10. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. And again, it's Allen. And this would take it in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, he's ready. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Von Miller, he was the one getting in there, able to wreak his usual havoc. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Back to throw, gone. Complete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, Rishi Enzo, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. 
And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Over the middle complete. It's Cook. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox, 53 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit them with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give them some confidence. And the other thing right now, it quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Taken in at the three. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. He's airing it out for Williams. That is knocked away and incomplete, but a penalty flag. In the backfield, this might be a roughing call. Yeah, no question. He got to the QB late CD, and that's going to get a flag every time. Every single time. Because let's face it, the league is always going to have an emphasis on these calls. They want to take care of these quarterbacks who are in vulnerable positions when they're passing the football. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. They gave it a shot with a deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. The final shot before break here. Go on. He's airing it out for Williams. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Bills. And in a tie ball game, they've got to be asking themselves, what can we do to get this passing game on track for the second half to come? Meanwhile, for the Lions, they did not have quite the same amount of success in the passing game that their counterparts did, as you get a look at the numbers there. Final adjustments being made in both locker rooms. They are just about set to get back to football in Detroit. And for the call of the second half, we'll kick it back up to Ford Field and Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spend it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Third 
third quarter. All tied up. This is second and ten. Now Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. That's McKenzie. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And taken down just shy of the 40. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the 39, Allen. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So this game tied at the half, and if you wondered who would come up with the first big play in this third quarter, we have our answer. Well, basketball, you know how they tell you to have active hands defensively? I think the same thing applies here. Nice job there, prying the ball free. And now the guys have a chance to take the lead if they can put something together. The beauty of doing it in football, you don't get called for a foul if you hit their arms. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he's got this down to the 35. 55 rushing yards, rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. the handoff now go off they're connecting here with dj shark and they'll work this down inside the 30. on second down swift typically we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic but in this case how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play so they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half. It continues. This receiver is just going to be They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. They'll try it now with Swift. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Off play action. Here's Golf. This will be caught inside the 10. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into him because they were there to help break that pass up. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Badgley's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So he ran it on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one, to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. 
Big spot, and he delivers. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they really need to forget about their last time out, the turnover that led to a field goal. So now they try to regroup, trailing in the final quarter. Obviously, they'd love a touchdown, but three would suffice. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now is Allen. He's got And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. So out now come the Lions. They'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. Following the fumble recovery, Goff. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. So just three yards on the completion there, and it's second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. I think he's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. They run. It's Williams. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Bills are going to get the football back. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall, first on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. Here's Allen. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Allen. Steps away to his left. And a throw there going to be incomplete. But that incompletion reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. 
running for it. Here's Cook. A oh, good move. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. First down now, but that clock rolling. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And this defense has broken it open as they return to the house for six. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room where they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. It's good to make it 17-7. Scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. Josh Allen in the offense now. Down by 10, 70 seconds remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Throwing is Allen. That's taken in by Knox. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. Finding space at the 40. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Now Allen. He gets this complete to Diggs. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Back to throw. Allen works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with the clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So 15 ticks remaining as they line up for the onside kick. And this will be covered up by the Lions, and that might just about seal the deal. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Charles, in these lower scoring games, you know it better than anybody. Uh, points are at such a premium, but taking care of the football is king. They play turnover free from whistle to whistle, and they come through with a victory. Yeah, and that's what won them the game because even doing it that way, being that clean partner, they weren't able to really run away with this game. So that tells us just how important it was to make sure you played mistake-free football that led to the victory.